Hello everyone, welcome to Glamour Arm. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing about 10 simple ways of living a happy life led by love. So if you're interested to know more about this, then I encourage you to stay tuned and I'll be right back. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up. Welcome back again to this video. I know every one of us want to live a happy life. I don't know about you anyway, but for me, personally, for me, I want I like to live a happy life. I want a peaceful life, a life that is led by love. Not the selfish life. <laughs> the one, the life, happy life that is led by love. This happy life we are talking about. Living a happy life, it will not cost you. I'm so, you know, the, in fact, I'm the fan of happy and peaceful life. I like it peaceful. I like it being happy. Why? Because living this happy life, what and what do you need to put in place to live this happy life that is led by love? First of all, I will encourage you to go for the first step. As for me, I like doing what I love. You know, do what you love. When you do what you love, it will flow. So I encourage you to, if you know that thing you, know, you love so much, you love to do, like when you do things, you know, these are the things you can do freely without grudges, freely without anything. I encourage you to go for that thing. Do what you love and you'll be happy with it. If you like maybe swimming, go for swimming. Teach people how to swim because if you can, but if you can, always do those things you love. If you like, if you like drawing, Go and keep yourself busy with that thing you love. And I tell you, you will enjoy your life and enjoy it to the fullness when you start doing the things you love. Not doing the things because you earn money out of it, but when you go for something you love so much, then there is where happiness comes from. So that is the first tip I am going to give you to go for what you love. Start doing the things you love. So that takes me to the second tip, and that is second simple ways of living a happy life that is loved, loved by God is be yourself. Being yourself is what makes you unique. As we all are, our fingerprints are not the same, which simply means we are different. That is how God has created us. So if our fingerprints are not the same, there are something that is in you that is not in another anywhere in the world. Even if there is, there are not something different. Like we do see identical twins, they look alike, but there's something different about them. That is exactly how it is. For you to be able to live happily, you have to learn to be yourself. It will, it will, in fact, it will lead to a great height that you need to consider. You need to consider this seriously because that is part of your signature that's a signature you have no other one have being yourself and when you be yourself you'll be unique so it is very important that you be yourself no matter how you, you think your life is just remain calm there's something so special about you and you will find out you'll find out these things and you'll be happy you be so I encourage you to learn be yourself. Don't try to be like Mr. A. Don't try to be like Mr. B. Because that is what I see a lot of people do today in this world that make them live an unfulfilled life. When I was reading this book, The Burden of Freedom, the book was wrote by Dr. Miles Morrow. He was telling about a, a doctor, a medical doctor, professional medical doctor, after the whole years he spent reading this doctor, studying this medicine, medical doctor, at the end, he said, what is used for all this, that all this advantage, that is not what he wanted, for he was living the life of his father, I think his father so, who wanted him to be a medical doctor, a lot of us live that life today. We want to live that life because our mother said we should be this. Our father said we should be this. This is a new era. We have to learn to identify what our children really want and walk them towards it instead of imposing them to do to become that person we wanted to become. 
Because when you do this, when you identify yourself, know what you love, know the things you like to do, that then try to narrow it down to a particular niche, a course. It will definitely help you to do what? To follow your course, to become, to achieve that, that thing God wants you to achieve in this world. And you will not end up living another person's life. Because after living another person's life, you'll never be satisfied with it because it's not your life. You are living another person's life. So it is good and vital that you start doing this. Be yourself, find a unique spot. Because I know every one of us has their unique spots. So find yours and it will help you. So that takes me to the next point. And that is always smile up. You know, I can never stop saying those things. And uh, throughout this video, I'm telling you how I'm a, I am a fan of a happy life. My vibes, oh, you go nuts. <laughs> but I must tell you, to be sincere and honest, you, you have to always see yourself smile. Let me narrate this so you can get to understand what I mean by smiling on this. You see, it's not just this fake smile we give and at the end we remain who we are. No. The real smile, like give yourself a real good smile. I do tell people to practice this. Stand in front in front of your mirror. See yourself smile. See yourself happy. And look because mirror is a reflection of you. That is why you have to stand in front and see the difference when you frown and when you smile. I know situations make us frown. A lot of things, troubles might make us frown. But the truth is, will you frown forever? No. Will you be angry forever? No. So the point exactly is very simple. You should learn to do what? To smile often. There is this person I know always frowning, never happy, always. You never see him smile. And until one day, somebody made this person to smile. And the person smiled. All of a sudden, the person got himself and was like back to how he was. So I feel like, ah, uh -uh, what would make such a person not smile? Even when you see yourself smiling, it's not a bad thing. But I, I see this that this is the way we have grown ourselves. So we, we should learn to always smile often. Be happy for yourself, for yourself, for you. I always, if not for you, be happy that you are alive. Be happy for God, for making you you, for making you the person you are. So that is why I put this here. It's part of it. You have to learn to smile often, be happy for yourself. So that takes me to the next point. So the fourth tip I'm going to give you is, want to live a happy life? Then you have to learn to help others. How do you help others? You know, sometimes I do, I do see people think maybe because they are not rich, uh, they can't help people. No, helping people is not when you are rich. You can help people with the smallest things you have. You can help people with it. In fact, with those things that are nothing. When we learn to help people, we see that our life will change. When you learn to help people, there is this uh, spiritual law that people don't know about when helping. That is where you see people who give. Watch their life. Their life go higher, higher, higher. Every day, every day. Why? Because they give out what they have. It doesn't mean you're giving money. It doesn't mean you're giving everything you have. No. There are little, little things we can do for people that will cost us absolutely nothing. Now, for instance, you saw somebody who was looking for maybe an address and you were passing. The person was asking you, hey, please, where is this place? Where, where is this place? Only for you just to tell the person maybe, okay, here's the address. Why not go here? Or help the person to check with your phone and check the address. It will cost you absolutely nothing. For me, it costs nothing because I believe you, you have nothing. It is God who gave you everything you have, God gave it to you. It's not yours. So you have to learn to give to people, help people in situation. When somebody is looking for an address that the person maybe does not have a phone, or even if the person have a phone but did not check, you help the person to check and direct the person the right way. It doesn't cost you anything. 
Or is it maybe you know how to do something very well? And the person beside you or the person who came to you was looking for how to do those things. Like the incident, that reminds me of something. Now I remember this. There is this experience somebody had. A friend of mine was telling me the experience she had, but she always make it for me. I was just listening to her story and she was telling me how she, she used to take her cake to someone to icing it for her, like make the, the fondant for her, give, give her as in do the fondant style for her. So I was like, what? It was strange for me. It was strange for me. So, and I was like, okay, I was eager to hear more of it. And she said, hey, because she does not know how to do the fondant of her thing, and uh, she went to the, the man, for the man to do the cake, you know, cover the cake with fondant. She was the one that baked it. She baked the cake. She she covered the cake a bit with icing sugar, and uh, with, um, yeah, icing sugar. But the, the real design and uh, the real fondant, she was not the one who did, who, who did that. So I was like, ah, ah. that means two people worked on the cake and she said, yes, that is how she always do. And I said, ah, ah, why then do you have to go for him to, to do the fondant for you, the design for you? Why can't you not do it yourself? She said she doesn't know how to do it. I said, ah, ah. even if you don't know how to do it, tell him to teach you so you can be doing it. And she said she tried. She did her best. And I was like, ah, what do you mean you tried? She said she told the man that she, he should teach her how to make the fondant so that, so that she would be making it. And the man charged her 500 euros. And she was eager. She, was, she had only 250 euros. She was ready to pay 250 euros for the man to teach her this. And later on, I found out that the man did not even want to teach her. She, the man just raised the price so that she, she cannot do it. And I told her, okay, if you have 250 euros, why can't you, why can't the man teach you how to make it? Even if he did not teach you maybe everything, but at least. She said no, the man refused and said no. I said, what? Like in this age? And she said, I'm surprised. I said, because he, you are the client of the man. The man does not want you to compete him. That's the point. That's what I'm seeing. And I was so, why did I have to narrate this? A lot of us don't want to teach our fellow human what we know because we are afraid, we are insecure that the person might take away our customers. Or, and I was so like, oh, I said, why? Then when she was telling me this story, I have not become a professional chef. <laughs> I was just doing my own freelancing of a thing before I became a professional. So why am I saying this? I even lined up this thing that she was asking someone to pay her. She was asking to pay 250. I loved it without cup. I loved it on my own without a dime. You understand? So my point exactly is very simple. Learn to share what you know. Learn to share. Learn to help people. People who are handicapped in some things, in some knowledge, in some skills. If you know how to do it, why can't you teach them? Even if they ask, to, they will pay. It's better. It is better as well. Learn to teach people what you know. Learn to help people. Because when you help people, you grow yourself. But the secret people don't know is that when they don't help people, they don't grow. They don't know that. Because if they know, they will stop doing that. When you, the more you help people in life, become people, helping people be, to become better, the more you grow. That is the greatest secret I've ever learned in my whole life. And that secret, I don't mean to keep it to myself. That is why I'm sharing it to you. <laughs> you know, it's very important to help people. Learn to help people because when you help people, you grow every day. Like your growth will be unstoppable. That's the truth. So that takes me to the next point. The fifth point I have for you here is you having time for loved ones. You see, sometimes we do take this for granted, but it's reality. When you have time for people, but I do not say do your best. Like do your best. I love it when you do your best do your, do your best to have the time for loved ones but what i do not encourage is abusing the time maybe when you have time for loved ones and maybe they end up abusing the time i didn't mean you should stop no <laughs> don't just do that when you bring out time for loved ones they end up abusing it just find your way like i said 
in my other team avoid negative things and avoid negative things so it's very simple just avoid it avoid anything that would um, jeopardize the time because time is money i keep saying this my husband knew me with this word like time is money <laughs> i don't joke with my time a second that i have you know sometimes i do there are things i do i do imagine it like this maybe if i would if i would to go somewhere and do something maybe attend a class I would think okay if i should go and attend a class i'm coming back those time going and coming why if i can do the class maybe at home <laughs> online <laughs> so time is money for me because my time is so precious and i'm not encouraging you to waste it no 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 you don't waste time no you don't waste time don't spend time it delights your time so that is why i'm encouraging you if you have loved ones the beautiful one like good and lovely people around you oh take your time to, to like be with them have time for them i appreciate it so much like it's very vital it's very important in our everyday life if you want to live that happy life it's very vital you need to be around those people not the ones you know the ones that are really loved not just because they are loved ones to just remain them so that's the point i'm listening here you will be happy doing that, I bet. I bet you will be happy doing that. So that takes me to the next point. And if you have watched this video to this level and you have not, you have not given me the like button, I recommend if you like this video and you like this content and you want to see more of this content in this channel, I recommend you click the like button. It will help you to, to recommend my videos to others. The sixth point is be thankful. You see? The heart of being thankful matters a lot in a lot of things because it will help you even when you achieve the little, like even when you achieve the smallest goal, you will always be thankful for it. But when you are not thankful, even when you achieve the smallest goal, you will never like feel like you've done nothing. And it will not help you because it will not motivate you to move forward. But when you and when you found out you you done this and you achieved it, you done this, you've achieved it. Then be thankful for it. Thank, thankful for it. Be grateful. Like always, be thankful in anything, in any situation. I do tell people that these are the little little things that makes our lives wow. A lot of people think being happy is when you have all those things, you know. No, it is this little little things that makes our life so wonderful. And when people see you, they feel like, ah, I feel like to be like, hey, I like the way he or she does. But it's those little little things that you overlooked that they put into action and changed every part of their lives. So this is one of it. And you have to see yourself being thankful. Be grateful for the little you have. Be grateful for what you have at all at all. Be grateful for where you have come from. Like, be grateful for how far you have come in life. Be grateful. That will help you to live a happy life. To live that life God wants you to achieve. Like, that life God brought you here in this world. That purpose, life of purpose is very important. So, and that is it. That takes me to the next point. So the next point I'm going to give you is the seventh tip of how to live this happy life that is led by love. Now, the seventh one is avoid negative thinking and negative people. I love to, you know, I'm the fan, like I can't say this enough. I'm the fan of happy life. I'm the fan of peaceful life. I don't need stress, like in this life I'm living, I don't need anything to stress me. Both in my thinking, both in my activities, both in whatsoever I am into. I don't want anyone like to pollute it for me. Negative vibes, I don't need it. I'm the fan of peaceful life and I'm the fan of minding my own business and not intruding. So why do I say this? Avoiding negative thinking will help you a lot. If you want to succeed in life, you should learn to avoid negative thinking and negative people uh, because i'm saying it's two with thinking and people now let's start with the thinking how do you avoid negative thinking maybe you are there and all of a sudden a thought just came to you maybe an, a negative thought you start thinking uh, things to do that are not supposed to be 
what do you do? You involve yourself with an activity. Because I believe when you involve yourself in, in doing some activities, then, then, you are starting to take away that negative thinking. Avoiding negative thinking is very simple. Involve yourself in an activity. In case maybe you might be wondering how do you how do I avoid myself? You know, maybe okay, what do you like to do? Like I said, it is one of the best ways to live a happy life that is led by love. So what do you love to do? Start doing that. Like dive deep into doing things, in, into activities that will develop, that will and help you in your growth. With this, you will see you will not have the time to think negatively. Involve your yourself in an activity and when you do that, you are taking away negative thinking. Now, now let's go back to the second part of it. Neg avoid negative people. I keep saying this a lot. I'm a fan of positive vibes and uh, anything that will make me angry, anything that will make me think negatively, anything that will take away my happiness, I don't like it. Like, I like to avoid it. Anything that will stop me from being the who the person God has created me to be, to be. Anything that will stop me from being the person that God has created me to be, I avoid it. So, in other words, avoid negative people, if possible, if you can do it. Maybe, you know, you, you, there is this person that always comes to you, the way they talk, maybe the way they you know, do negative things that is not supposed to be around you. Maybe that will make you to always think negative because there are certain people you will be around. I tell you, this is reality. You will start behaving and thinking like them. That is why always they tell you, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. Who are the people you mingle out with? The people you mingle out with influence your life. The people you associate with influence your life. So you have to be extremely careful to filter out any negative vibes. It's up to you. Nobody can do it for you. It is you who will do it. So learn to filter out every negative thinking, every negative people around you. If you really want to live a happy life, you have to do this. You have to. It is up to you. It's your responsibility to do it. So I hold you accountable for it. You do it and you will see the different, the massive change in your life. But when you involve yourself with this kind of people, negative people all the time, you will never have the time to do the things you love. Yes, you will never have the time to do the things that you're supposed to do. You even never have the time to grow your personal self, your own self. You will never have the time to grow your person, the person God has created you to be. So in this life, all we strive to be, all we strive to be is to be the best version of ourselves. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. So that takes me, with that said, that takes me to the next point. And that is learn to forgive. You see, I do tell people, when you forgive people for what they, they have done to you, you are not doing them a favor. Eh? I do tell people this a lot every day. Like, you are not doing them a favor, you are doing yourself a favor. Because you'll be happy with you. You will be happy with you. You know, forgiving people is not like you are telling them to go ahead to hurt you the more. No. Forgiving people is for you to be at peace with yourself. And like, then move on with your life. And they will keep on, like, because there are a lot of people who think that when you hold grudges with them, uh -huh, that is when, no, no, it is not done like that. No, it's the other way around. You have to learn to forgive people if you want to be happy in life, like in everything you do. Learn to forgive people, and forgive also yourself, because there are some mistakes we make. I cannot talk of my own because I know I have made some mistakes, maybe the way I do things, I don't know. But I know there are some mistakes we make we keep blaming ourselves forever. No, no. Mistakes are part of growth. Where it's wrong is when you make a mistake, you did not go back to know why this happened. Oh, why did I make this mistake in the first place? And what made me to make this mistake? 
when you begin to identify the same, you see, you are mending it. In the future, you will not repeat the same mistake and you learn from it. The problem we are having is that we do not learn from our mistakes. We keep repeating them without learning from them. That's a problem. So mistakes are bound to happen. But the most important thing is, are you willing to like learn from it? It's very vital, it's very important. So learn to forgive yourself and learn to forgive others who have hurt you in the past, maybe in the present. And live your life, be happy with yourself. And you see, you fulfill that potential God wants you to fulfill in this life. You achieve every part of your life you want to achieve. So that is the tea, one of the tea, the fourth one. And let's dive in. That takes me to the next point. And that is the number nine tip of living a simple, happy life that is led by love. Is to manage stress. Ah, ah, ah. Like I keep saying, I'm a fan of happy and peaceful life. Hey, I don't know how like any negativity one side, I don't even need to see not <laughs> no negative vibes and I like, I like it peace, peaceful so if you want to live a happy life you have to learn to manage stress it's very important it's very vital why do I say so? because I notice that when you overstress yourself it will cost you a lot, it will cost you your resources it will cost you time because you would start looking for solutions on how to manage, them. like how to cure yourself from maybe because it will cause you illness. So you have to learn to do it to manage stress. One of the ways I do manage stress is um, not working on Sundays. Apart from on Sundays, sometimes Thursdays I do not do anything. Thursdays. Sometimes not always. But those times, those Sundays, I, I make sure I don't touch my computer. So the point I'm making here is that I'm trying to manage stress. So Sundays, I don't do anything. I just, if I want to, if I pick up my phone, then it's to just maybe listen to music and relax and sleep on I like to sleep Sunday. Then on Thursdays, I don't actually, I do some things on Sundays, but not on Thursdays, but not every day. Like on Thursdays, I like to write, try to lease up myself from some jobs, from some work. So that's important. So learn to manage stress. It will help you in your life, in your, in your stress. Like you do things that you don't stress that much. And that is part of building a happy life that is led by you. So that takes me to the final point. It's giving more. You see, I do see a lot of people they don't like to give out even the things they can use like the things they are done using like they know they are not using it anymore they still, they still hold on it there is no growth that's what they don't know when you give out give more you can give what you have you can give anything anything giving more like i said the other time helping people do things how do you give you give by Maybe there are some knowledge you know, you have. You share your knowledge to someone else who don't have. You impact people, people's life. That's the greatest way you have, you, you become happy in life. But we do not know, because I want you to know something. There is this book I read, one of the books I read, and um, that is Seven Spiritual Laws. In that book, one of the things I learned from that book is that we tend to harm ourselves not help one another because we do not know we all are aiming for the same thing we all in life both the whites the black race the white race we will so ever be big small rich poor we all are aiming for one thing like one thing that is why sometimes i sat down and think ah, ah, if we, in truth let, let's just say is the truth we are aiming for one thing but why would people, because I see people who see it in a different angle. But you see people killing each other because maybe you have a right to my level. Why would you? I want to be the only one on top. No, no. We are meant to have the same thing. We are meant to experience the same thing. So when people rise up to your point, to your level, don't bring them down because of selfishness. You cannot have it alone. It's not possible. Never possible. Never. So I want you to know that, that we all, giving more, 
you, when you give more, you are becoming, you are making people more happy. That's why sometimes I do see people, you know, they hardly give out, they hardly help people in life. What do I mean by helping? Even to the least, they can do so. And they hide under the shadow of, I don't have, I don't have. No. Every single person here on earth has something to give. The point is, are you willing to give? Because if you're willing to give, definitely, you will see something to give. Because I know there are people you are better than. That's what I do see people do. They hide under the shadow of, I do not have money, I would have given, I would have given. Like in the Bible, the good Samaritan, a man that was wounded, others came and passed, a priest came and passed, and other, other people came and passed. It's just a good Samaritan that was just there and came and was had the sympathy. Because in life, we have these categories of people. People will feel like, hey, no, 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 I don't want to come close. No, 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 if, you, if I come close now, it will be like, no. But in life, I want you to know that we have these categories of people. There are people who don't want to give up what they have. It's not like they don't have it, they have it. Or they hide under, they don't have it, but they have it. So people give out and give splendid excuses, which is not supposed. So my point is, is very simple. Give more, because when you give more, you want to be happy. It's a must. You, will, you There is a fulfillment when you have it. Yes, if you don't know that, I know, I know, I know that a lot because I've done it. You feel very happy that ah, thank God this person was able to become this because you helped. But if you don't help, there is two things you will feel. It's either you feel pity or you feel bad that you did not help the person. So which one is better? For me, I prefer the first option. Feeling happy that I help someone to become better. I impacted in someone's life. That is it. But when you do not help people, I bet you these two feelings is what you will have. You have the feeling of is either pitying for the person or pitying for yourself for not being able to help. Because the guilt will come. It's a shock. It's a shock. Sure one. You will feel the guilt of uh -uh, I have not helped this person. And even if you have it, you will then blame yourself for not doing that. So that's the point. Do you want to feel guilty? No. For me, I prefer the happy parts. So that is why I love to help people the way I can. If I can't help you, I must find a way out to help you on my own or ask other people to help you. So there are so many ways to go about it. If you really have, the, have this in your mind to help it, ah, there must be a way you must help. So that is why it's very important. It's very vital to give more. When you open up to give, to give it, you will see, you will live a fulfilled life, a life you will never regret anything about. And that's where I am ending this video. I hope it adds value to you. And if it does, let me know what you think in the comment section. And I'll be glad to hear from you. If there is any other thing maybe you want to add to this that I've not added, let me also know in the comment section. And then, um, if you are still yet to subscribe to my channel, feel free to click the subscribe button. And uh, remember to turn on your notification because whenever you turn on your notification bell, you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. That's the essence of clicking the bell. So, so and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave returns to the sea.